This is a quick tip about enlarging items using your scanner instead of Photoshop. If you have an actual item that you need to scan in but you know the source isn't large enough, uh, there's some pretty big benefits to enlarging them by increasing the DPI of the scan and then reducing them down as opposed to actually just scanning at 300 DPI and then bringing them into Photoshop and enlarging them. So here's the example I have set up. Uh, it's the same exact item, scanned from a magazine. Uh, this one was scanned at 300 DPI and this one was scanned at 1200 DPI. And I know 1200 sounds a bit big, but I'm going to go into why I did that in just a second here. So if I look at the 300 DPI image, and I just go to image, image size, to kind of see what I'm working with, you can see the document size right here is 5 inches by 6.7 inches at the 300 D DPI resolution. Let's say I want to make it 20 inches, which is a 400% increase. That's a, a sizable increase, and if I do that within Photoshop, it's really going to start to kind of blur out and not look so great. But just to show what will happen, let's do that. So I'm going to take this, change it to percent, and I'm going to move the, the actual way it's uh, handling this to bicubic smoother, which is better for enlargement. Now I'm just going to make this width, or actually just make this 400%. So here we go. I'm going to zoom into 100% here. And as you can see, this image uh, started to blur out quite a bit. Uh, this is a magazine scan, so it's a four-color process. So there's a lot of individual half-toning going on here because of that four-color process. But a lot of the details are lost because when uh, you enlarge something that much in Photoshop, it's going to freak out a little bit and blur. So let's do this. I'm going to jump into the 1200 DPI version here. And instead of using Photoshop to enlarge it, I'm going to actually just reduce down the DPI because we scanned in at such a higher resolution than we needed. We can do this all just by unchecking resample image and taking the resolution at 1200 down to 300. And that's given us the same 400% enlargement because uh, 1200 is four times the number of 300. So we end up with a width of 20 by 26.9. And once again, just to see what it was at, you know, it went from five inches by 6.7 inches just by unchecking resample image and reducing it to 300. And let's zoom in here and we can kind of take a look and compare the two. We're at the same 100% now, but as you can see, this is a much, much, much sharper image. Uh, you can actually see the individual half-toning process going on. If I flip back here, you can tell this is all really blurred out because we did it uh, through software instead of through hardware. Uh, and I actually made a comparison pick of, I just put both of them. These are both the exact size, or exact same size now. You know, if I go to image size, this is 20.2 by 26.9. And this one, the blurry version, is also 20.2 by 26.9. So here's the comparison. Um, it's a pretty, pretty significant difference going on. As you can see, this one, this side right here was enlarged by Photoshop. And this one right here, we just reduced down the DPI because we did all the enlargement from the scanner. Um, it's really almost uncomparable how much sharper this side is than this side. And you know, this will work with pretty much any high quality image. I mean, if you're working from a photo, the difference will be even more because it'll, the film will just make it look better because you won't see these like uh, the simple magazine half-toning process going on. But hopefully this is pretty helpful for you. And I'm just gonna go over what to do one more time. If you just go to image, image size, make sure resample image is unchecked, and then reduce down the resolution. Just scan in at a much higher resolution than you need, and then reduce it down. Uh, that's all you really have to do. So uncheck resample, and reduce the resolution from, you know, the 600 or 900 or 1200, whatever you might have scanned at, to 300. And then you just hit OK, and you're good to go. Um, if this video was helpful for you, please do hit like. And if you want to see more great videos, just hit subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.